present time. They've won their last three this afternoon up against the Saints at Princess Park. Here's Bruce McAvaney. Thanks, Dennis. At half-time at Princess Park, Carlton by 32 points, 10-4 to 5-2. Kernahan has a couple of goals and Madden two for the Blues. And O'Brien kick one on the siren for St Kilda for his second goal, both from free kicks. But Carlton has dominated the opening half. Bradley goes back to Dean. Dean stops, waits, goes into Crystal at centre wing. Kernahan again, not moving in the goal square. Now he does. Got a very good bounce. Round his body, kicks a goal. Oh, the champ! Well trapped, but then again, Sporting doing a little thing with a, a smother. Gleeson went to ground. Well played, Barry Mitchell. His hands were clever there as he got it to Brown. Brown towards Kernahan, being held onto Kernahan. Still with Kernahan, brilliantly to Bond. Here's a goal. Bond gets his first, the Blues get their fourth. And Everett got the goal for the Saints. Madden, unopposed that time. Harvey read it beautifully. Oh, how does he do well it? Well done, oh. Harvey. Should be able to kick a goal now from 40 metres out. And does it beautifully. What a goal. Play of the day. How often do we see that? Now, Bradley looking for Kernahan. Shanahan caught behind. Well he done. gets his fist to it, though. Here's Heaver. And Heaver has kicked a good goal. Brown had Gleeson in the pocket. If he's able to see him, he just high balls at the centre half forward. Frawley taps it away. Bradley, Williams, Madden. Oh, Justin might have kicked it. He has, and he loves it. Sexton onto the left foot, in towards the pocket. Some pushing and shoving going on. Shanahan trying his heart out. Heaver was grabbed by the jumper. Now around the corner goes Gleeson. Kicks. Oh, good goal to Gleeson. Demonstration by Dean. Heaver, outside 50, low ball, Bradley box seat, good mark. It's a good kick by Heaver, punching it into the goal square. He's having a big match, Bradley. From the pocket, he's got it. Bradley's first. Fraser Brown, round his body to half forward. Bradley in the front spot, sure did well. Gleason to Hogg, Hogg inside 40, should kick a goal. Low drop, but he does. Controversial incident in the first half of the Ange Christou being reported for allegedly tripping Alistair Carr. So at half time, the Blues by 32 points as Don Scott takes a look at the first half. Well, looking at that statistical board, it's fairly even, except if we go down to the bottom there, centre breaks favouring Carlton, and they really do put themselves under a lot of pressure to kill They've got to start and win the ball in the centre there, but Carlton doing particularly well. They're running hard in. Madden's getting first use of the ball, and then the Carlton fellows are taking benefit from that. Don, we've talked about their options in the first half, not only Kernahan, but a lot of the small players able to kick goals for the Blues. Yes, well, uh, you know, it's an ideal setup with Carlton because you've got Spalding, who'll contest. You've got also Kernahan, who will contest. They're not always going to take that high mark. And if the smaller guys can come running through, crumb the ball, hit the pack as they've been doing, Carlton have really got a two pronged tack to goal. Greg Williams has been in magnificent form over the last three or four weeks, his first half. Well, yes, yeah, so interesting. They had Damon Shaw on him early. Now, you know, obviously, Carl, uh, St Kilda weren't happy with Damon Shaw. Robert Harvey went on, then Shaw went back again. So they made a, a couple of changes there, trying to nullify Williams. But I thought St Kilda would have done better because they did particularly well in the first quarter against the Breeze. Shanahan leading, actually, that defence on Kernahan. And uh, the Saints' hopes of getting back into the match? Well, I really did think they let themselves down in that second quarter. If there was a quarter, you know, I know there's a half to go. We can't predict, or we can predict, but uh, I think that second quarter they should have made more use of the breeze. Yes, they did struggle, didn't they? So the situation at half time, Carlton seemingly in a winning position. They lead 10 4 to 5 2. OK, Bruce, one other game being played today, that's at Waverley. And look at this the Lions, having lost their last, what, five now, lead 5 5 to 3 3 at the half. Hogg's got two and Johnston two for Fitzroy. Jason Dunstall yet to kick a goal in that game. Round 13 continues tomorrow. A couple of very important games. Brisbane against Essendon. That's at the Gabba. Adelaide go against Melbourne. Late game at Football Park. Collingwood on the West Coast here at the MCG. And Footscray against Sydney out at the Western Oval. Geelong have got the bye. So, as I say, some very important games. Half time here at the MCG. And North lead by seven points. We'll be back with all of the second half action right after this. That's what I like about.